Hey everybody, welcome back to our Farming Simulator 25 pre-release coverage. In this video, we're going to run down everything that is included in the game as far as base game vehicles, implements, and tools. Everything in the shop, we're going to take a look at today. Now, there are 158 brands officially coming to Farming Simulator 25. And it all is going to be found here in the vehicle shop. As we've already seen in a previous video, Real quick, the vehicle shop has had a completely different overhaul with respect to its menu system for better or for worse. There are definitely things in here that I like and things in here that I don't like so much. We of course have our brands still listed here alphabetically. So if you do know the brand that you wanna find, well, you can find it here real quick and see everything that is gonna be a part of that particular brand. Or we can come down here to our categories. We have drivables, loaders. Now, what I do like about this menu system is that everything is here together. So we have all of our front loaders, all of our telehandlers, all of our wheel loaders, forklifts, and skid steers. And then also we have front loader arms. And then we have our attachments for our front loaders, our telehandlers, skid steers, and wheel loaders. So it's all here together. That I do like. But it's not really in alphabetical order. And that's where I really have issues is, well, where is it? Is it up? Is it down? Where is it in the list? Trailers, pretty straightforward. If it's a trailer, you can attach it and trail something and put stuff in it or on it. Well, it's going to be in trailers. Soil cultivation is going to be for our plows, cultivators, disc harrows, power harrows, subsoilers, mulchers, stone pickers, and spaders. Basically everything to prep your field for seeding or planting. And speaking of that, we have a seeding category, which includes seeders, planters, seed tanks, and seeds. So pallets and big bags of seeds are also here under the seeding category. Yield improvement, we have sprayers, manure spreaders, fertilized spreaders, slurry tankers, slurry tools, slurry transport, weeders, rollers, and consumables. And this is going to be your solid fertilizer, your lime, your herbicide, your liquid fertilizer, under our combine harvesting, we have our harvesters, our grain headers, our corn headers, specialty headers, header trailers, and our windrower. Forage harvester, we have our harvesters, headers, header trailers, levelers for our silage, silo compaction, again, for our silage, and then our consumables, which is going to be the silage additive. Under grass care, we have our mowers, tedders, windrowers, forage wagons, grassland care, and consumables. Again, that's going to be silage additive. So things can be in multiple categories. Bailing, we have square, round, transport, trailers, wrappers, miscellaneous, and consumables. Root crops, beet harvesters, beet harvester headers, beet loaders, potato planters, potato technology, and consumables. Our root crops, we have our vegetable planters, vegetable harvesters, spinach harvester, green bean harvester, pea harvester, and our consumables. We have specialty crops, which are going to include our rice planters, our rice harvesters, sugarcane planters and harvesters, sugarcane transport, cotton harvesters, cotton transport, and our consumables. Grapes and olives, we have our grape harvesters, olive harvesters, grape trailers, and grape tools. We have our forage mixers, our water tankers, our animal transport, our straw blowers in our food under animals. Forestry, we have our forage harvesters, our forwarders, our excavators, excavator tools, wood transport, wood chippers, our mulchers, our winches, tree planters, stump cutters, miscellaneous forestry things, and saplings. Under the miscellaneous category, we have miscellaneous. Yes, we do. We have a miscellaneous category under miscellaneous tools. Kind of funny. We have weights, belts, and winter equipment. Objects, we have big bags, big pallets, pallet tanks, pallets, and bales. Then we have hand tools, chainsaws, spray, miscellaneous, and animals. And we're going to run down all of these individually in a minute. Under packs, maybe you're looking to get into a specific crop or a specific thing. Well, you can come here and see what the game suggests you start out by owning, and this is going to basically get the job done. 
we have the return of the used vehicles. In fact, this white tractor, I just might pick up. Come to that. Come back to that. Mods and DLCs returns. So as we get mods and DLCs released, and if they are including vehicles, implements, and tools, well, they're going to be showing up here under the mods and DLCs section. And lastly, we have the other category, which is going to take us over to other shops and other menus. Back to vehicles. So down in the description, I am going to leave timestamps to all of the different categories. So I won't necessarily timestamp small tractors, medium tractors, large tractors, etc. But I will timestamp drivables, loaders, trailers, those types of categories. So let's dive into small tractors. So in the small tractors category, we have the Landini Rex 4 GT. And then down here we have, this is going to tell us if we own it. This is going to be an icon if we have it leased. We have some stats down here as well. And of course, we can pull in here and look at it in the shop. Now, we're not going to look at every single vehicle and implement in the shop at this level of detail, or this video would be several hours long. What we are going to do is just take a look at the screen as to what is in each particular category. And then if you want more interest, well, you can come into one of my live streams and ask, and I'll pull up the shop and take a look at any specific vehicle or implement as far as the configuration options go. Or, you know, you can put it down for something to check out on November 12th. But in general, we have our configuration options here that we can change. Wheel brands. Wheel setup. Do we want a three-point hitch or not on this particular tractor? We have our color options. And we have our rim color options. And we can modify the license plate. So this looks very similar to FS22 with respect to manipulating the license plate. We have type one. We have type two, just all letters and numbers. Put them back, front, or no plate. And we can change the color of our letters. So we have the Landini Rex 4 GT. We have the New Holland TK4.80 methane powered tracked tractor. We have the Rigid Track SKH60, the Zetor Proxima HS. To the Fent 200V Vario. We have the Klaus Ariane 470 410. We have the Massey Ferguson 5700S, the Tony 10900 TTR Antonio Cario Vine or Olive Tractor. We have the Antonio Cario Mach 4R and the Fent 300 Vario. We have the John Deere 3650. We have the Zetor Forista. HSX, we have the Izeki TJW, the Fent 500 Vario, the Land Deer, <coughs> or Lind Deer, Lind Track 130, we have the Same, or the, yeah, Vent Virtus, sorry, 135 RV Shift, and the Dutzfar 6C RV Shift. On our medium tractors, we have the Massey Ferguson 7S. We have the Challenger MT600. Again, you can see we own this one as a starting vehicle. So we have a one indicated right here by the barn or the garage. We have the white 8010 series. We have the Zetor Crystal HD. We have the Kubota M8. The John Deere 6R. The Fent 700 Vario. The Vralta 7T. The Case IH Puma AFS Connect. We have the New Holland T7 LWB PLMI. Man, that is a mouthful. We had a fact sheet on that one a few weeks back. The Steyr Absolt CVT. Dudes for Agrostar 831. Now, folks had wanted some older tractors. We've seen a few of those already, just in two different categories. The Dudes for Series 7 TTV HD. The McCormick X8 VT Drive. The Dudes Far Series 8 TTV. Under large tractors, we have the Voltra S Series, the Massey Ferguson 9S, the Fent 900 Vario, the John Deere 7R and 8R. We have the New Holland T8 Genesis, the John Deere 8RT, 8RX, and the Case IH Magnum 
AFS Connect series, and the Fent 1000 Vario, the John Deere 9R series, the Fent 1100 Vario MT, the John Deere 9RX, the Kloss Zerion 12, and the Case IH Steyr 715 Quadrac. Under trucks, we have the Lizard Dragon. We saw that in a fact sheet. Earlier today, we had a fact sheet for the International CV series. We have the Transstar 2 Eagle, the Mac Anthem 6x4, the Black Mac Anthem 6x4, and the Volvo FH Electric. That's right, we saw the Electric at the preview event. And, well, here we go. Confirmed. We have an Electric truck in-game. We have the Mac Superliner 6x4, the Volvo VNX 300, the Volvo FH16, and then we have our forestry truck, the FH16 RUL HKR. Under bikes and cars, well, of course, we have the Aprilla RX125. That was quite an excitement to see that in the launch trailer. And then finally, we got the fact sheet just a few weeks ago. The Ape 50, or the Ape 50, the Kubota RTV XG850 Sidekick 4x4 or side by side. The Antonio Cario Tigre Car 3200 GST. Then we have the Kubota RTV X1140WH. The International Series 200 pickup. I was super excited when I saw this earlier and I was like, oh my gosh. Super cool. Super cool. Any rate, and we have what is this? This is some sort of SUV thing, the Skoda Kodiak. Okay, and we have the return of our 19 or 2017 pickup from Lizard. And our miscellaneous drivables. Well, we have the Pin Pinroth Leveler and the Ropa Napa Row Mouse. Under loaders, we have our front loaders. We have the Schaefer 23E and the Kubota R640 front loader. We have our front loader arms. We have a Quickie QM, the Q6M. We also then have the Q7M. We have the Hauer XB150, XB190. And then we have the John Deere 663R. We have the John Deere 700M front loader arms and the M77. Just like an FS22, we do have the combinations button. And if we click that, it will tell us basically what is compatible with this particular vehicle or implement. And then details will take us into the shop. For our front loader tools, we have a universal bucket. We have a pallet fork, bale spike, bale king, manure fork, fork with grapple, round bale fork, bale handler, log fork, silage cutter, all from Albert. Then we have the Guvil big bale handler, RG, RBG, not RGB, the bale handler BTGQU. Then we have the quickie bag lifter single and dual and the Flegel Ruby 2000. And this is going to be our sugar beet cutter. For our telehandler, we have the Manitou MLT 841 145 PS Plus. We have a Cinnaboggin 340G. We also have the Fent Cargo T740. We have the Merlot MF44.9 CS170 CVT Ronic. And the Schaefer 9660T2. For telehandler, we have MagSci Universal Bucket. Pallet fork, bale fork, wrapped bale handler, manure fork, and log fork. Then we have the Gouville bale handler RBG and the bale handler BTGQU for the telehandler. Under our wheel loader, we have the JCB 435S. We have the Volvo L120H, the L120H conversion electric, and the L180H. For our wheel loader tools, we have the McCormick high dump bucket. The MagSci pallet fork, log fork. And then we have the McCormick bale fork, the Albert Site Pro. This is going to be for log transport. We have a silage fork, 
Then from Volvo, we have a pallet fork, big bag lifter, the rock bucket with a spade nose, general purpose heavy bucket, the high tip bucket. We have a pallet fork for the L180, big bag lifter for the L180, unloading gravel again for the L180, the other rock bucket spade nose specifically for the L180, and then we have the heavy bucket again for the L180H and the high tip bucket for the L180H. Under skid steers, we have the New Holland L318 and the Kubota SVL972. We have the Paladin high dump bucket, pallet fork, bale spear, wrapped bale handler, manure fork, brush and log fork, stump grinder, and now we have, we've seen before, but this is definitely confirmation, we are definitely going to be having some contracts possibly to bust up rocks because we have a rock crusher here in the Paladin SFB750. Under forklifts, we have the EFG S50 and the M54 from Manitou. Under trailers, we have the Salik ANS 1900, the FarmTech EDK 650. We have the Crampe Halfpipe HP20, FarmTech DDK 2400, Rudolph DD DK, sorry, 280 RP, the TDK. 301 RP, the TDK 301 RA. We have then the Brantner Z18051 slash 2XXL Power Flex. We have the Big Body 750S, the DD24073 slash 2XXL from Brantner again, the Fliego ASW271, the TR340090 slash 2PT Plus from Brantner. <laughs> Man, where do they get these names? Really? We have the Ram Body AS750 Plus. We have the Radium 255, the Crone GX520, and the Bergman HTW65. Under auger wagons, we have the Flegel Bluff. Bluff? Bluff? Yeah, okay. We have this. This thing, which is kind of interesting. Rather very interesting, actually. We have a Howie KUW2000. That's going to be for a lot of our root crops and vegetables. The Demco 850 single auger grain cart. The Bergman GTW 330. The J&M X10 Reach 1112. And this was also in a fact sheet earlier today. We have the Convey All CST 1550 semi-trailer auger wagon. The Elmer Hallmaster. The Howie S. UW5000, the Bergman RRW500 for sugar beets alone, and the Crop Chaser 1000 from Amity, which is going to be the love of many because it's basically going to be able to transport and unload literally everything because it's a giant dump bucket. Oh, and then if we weren't done, we have the Walkabout Mother Bin. WMB 4000. 141,000 liters is what this thing holds. Empty weight, 19.7 tons. Can't fathom how heavy this thing will be fully loaded. Changing systems. So this is from Anna Burger, and everything is going to rely on this platform. And then everything is going to connect to that platform. We have the trailer, the AW2217. We have kind of a forage wagon in the AW2207. We have the auger wagon in the AW2216. And we have a slurry tanker in the AW2227. Under flatbed trailers, we have our FarmTech DPW1800, AgriLiner PWO24, and the Crone ProfiLiner semi trailer. Under low loaners, we have the Flea Flea, Flea 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 We have the Fleagle DTS 5.9, the Demco. Steel drop deck, the renowned drop deck from Load King. We have the low loader 4A and the Brant H550 Beaver Tail. Under semi trailers, we have Load King Distinction Triple Hopper, the SKS 301050 from Crampe. We have Load King Prestige Super B, the Conveyall CST 1550, the Demco Steel drop deck. Hmm. Wonder why it's not over here. 
We have drop decks. What? What? Oh. Oh. Oh, remember? Things can be in multiple categories. Hmm. Gotta remember this. Float King Renown drop deck. The H550 Beaver Tail. The Pitts LT48L Log Trailer. And the Profi Liner from Crone. Under Soil Cultivation, we have Plows. And under Plows, we have the Pottinger Servo 25. The Agrimaz POV 5XL, the Pondra Servo T6000P. What is this thing? 4.2 meters. We have the Titan 18, 4.9 meters. And the big boy, the PW112, at a whole whopping 6 meters. Under cultivators, we have the Evo Cultivator 300, or the Eco Cultivator 300, the John Deere 980. We have the Amazon Cento 4000 Super. The Agrimaz Grizzly X4. We have the Lemkin Samgar 9500K. We have the TGA 560. The Terina 6040. The Prolander 7500. We have the Tiger 8MT. We have the Coralon 9840. The Terrafon 900 RP58 from Enbach. We have the Vanderstand NZ Extreme 1425 and the Summers Super Chisel CP2050. This was what's being hauled behind the quad track again in the Farm Sim 25 launch trailer. Under disc arrows, we have the Selec TB100, the Crossmax 300, the Carrier XL 625, we have the Dalbo Power Chain 800, the Farmet. Softer 11 PS, the Kinsey Mock Till 412, and the Bednar Swifter Swiffer Disc XE 18400 Mega. Power Heroes, we have the Credo 3 from Horsch, with the HR 6040 RCS, and the Cantor KN 8000Q Profi. Under Subsoilers, we have the Salak AKP 122. The Agrisim Disco Vision, yeah, Disco Manic, we'll call it. The K Dino 5 200. We have the Combi Plow Gold, the K Force 400, and the K Extreme 11 500. So, five meter subsoiler. Under Mulchers, we have the Selec MUL 1000, the TMC Concilia TPN 140, the TDE 220. The Speedmax 300, the TMS 300D, we have the Speedmax 560, the Mulcher MM7000 Butterfly Mulcher, and the Horsch Coltrino 12TC. 12.2 meter. Under the Spaders, we have the Farmax Rapide 450 Trailed. And then we have the Elo Scorpio 550 Stone Picker. Now, before we jump down to seating, anything surprise you in that list, that early list of categories? Some vehicles, some implements, some tools that you didn't think would be here? Let me know down in the comments. Under seating, seeders, we have the Versa 3KR, the Fennex 3003, the Great Plains Stand Solid 1500, the Agrimaz Qualadrive 400, the HR 6040 RCS and BTFR 6030. That's going to be a Power Hero and Cedar combo, no doubt. With a Bednar Omega 00 6000 FL, the ES Pro 6000 RC, the Ultima 800, the T Force Plus 950 from Nova Ag, the Limpkin Solitar 12, and the Amazon Saitan 15001 C. Under planters, we have the Missouri Pro Till 4T Exact. That's a new brand. We have the Amazon Presia 4500 2C Super. The Maxima 3 Till. We have the Master Mastero. I'm going to get slammed for that one. 975 RX. The Matrox 1800. The Optima RS. The Mastero. <laughs> yeah, 2450 SV. Go ahead. Slam me. I don't care. We have the Kinsey. 4905 Blue Drive. 
On our seat tanks, we have the TF-1512 and the Partner 1600 FT. Then under categories of consumables, we have our seeds and pallets or big bag form. Yield improvement. We have sprayers in the Hardy Mega 1200L, the Mega 1200L front tank, the Hardy Aeon 5000 Delta Force trailed sprayer, the Amazon UX5201 Super, the Dino 2 self-propelled sprayer, and the Agrifac Condor Endurance 2. Under manure spreaders, we have the FarmTech Vario Flex 750, the Brainer TA12050 Power Spread Plus, the Huawei DST16, the Bergman TSW6240W, and the Samson US235 Dynamic. Now back to this. Sprayers. I really wouldn't have looked for the Agrifac or the Dino under here. I would have felt that it would be up here because they're drivables. But okay. What happened to being able to put things in different categories? Mm-hmm. Fertilized spreaders. We have Salek RZK300H, the Amazon ZATS3200, the Breed K105, and the Amazon ZGTS10001. Now notice the 3001, 10001 won't hold lime. Breed Owl will. And that's the only one here in the list that will also do lime. Under slurry tankers, we have a Super Cease 800, the Annaberger AW2227. Remember, you need a platform for this to attach to. The PFW18000 Maxi Line Plus, the Profi 2, we have the PG228 Genesis, which we just had fact sheet on today. We have the PQ32 and the Oxbow AT5105. Now, this one will do manure and slurry because it is configurable. Just like that. Under slurry tools, we have the Vibro from Zunhammer. We have the Samson SD700. We have the Bomec Track Pack, Multi-Profi 2115, the Multi-XXL, and the Samson SBH436. Under slurry tankers, we have the Zunhammer ULT18, ULT24, TS3000, and the FRC65 tank. Under weeders, we have the Puler, Puler, no, Puler 600, the Rotocare V12400, the Nomadic Star Pro 1200, the Super 7, we had that in a fact sheet today as well, and the Aerostar Classic. XXL 2400. Under rollers, we have a Rexus 1230 from Vanderstand and the Brandt Land Roller 591A. And this thing is an absolute beast at 27.7 meters working with. Under consumables, we have our solid fertilizer, our lime big bags. We have our liquid pallets of liquid fertilizer and herbicide. Oops. Under combine harvesters, under the category of harvesters, we have the Massey Ferguson 8570. And that is confirmed our starting harvester in at least Riverbend Springs. We have the Evian 450. We have the Beta 7360 AL4. The Fent 5275CSL with a case axle flow 7150. We have the John Deere S7, the Lexion 6900, the John Deere X9 1100, the Lexion 8000, the CR11, the Golden CR11. That's if you pre ordered from the Giants eShop or you have the Collector's Edition, and the AF11 from Case IH. Under grain headers, we have the Massey Ferguson 8750 header, the Vario 620, the Free Flow 25 foot from Massey Ferguson, the Free Flow 25 foot from Fint, and the Terraflex 25 foot from Case IH. We have a 28 foot header from Case IH, the RDF 35 from John Deere, Comboflex 1080 from Case, 
the John Deere HDX or HD 45 X Conva Flex 1380. We have a John Deere HD 5 or 50 F. We have the Mac Don FD 250 Flex Draper. The FD 250 Flex Draper here for Case IH. FD 250 Flex or Flex Draper from New Holland. The FD 250 Flex Draper Golden Edition. And if you have the Mac Don Pack, you're going to have the FD 140 Flex Draper. Under corn headers, we have the Case IH 4408, the Damant 8 from Capello, the North Star 1230FB, we have the Case IH 4418N, the New Holland 98CR1830, the John Deere C16F, and then the North Star 1830. Under specialty headers, we have the Sunlight 40, which is going to be for sunflowers. The Milo Star 1630, which is going to be for sorghum. And the PW8, which is going to be for our swathing. Now we have the Milo Star. It's going to be working with a working speed of 8 miles per hour. We have the Sunlight working speed of 9 miles per hour. Let's go back to here. This is going to be a working speed of 6 miles per hour. And to anything here, working speed of six miles per hour. So we do get special speeds or faster speeds with these specialty headers for those specific crops. Under our header trailers, we have the Massey Ferguson 8570 trailer. We have the Nardi in 20T, in 40BX, in 7030, the in 6035, the in 7040, the in 6045. And the Demco HD HT52. Under wind rowers, again, these are going to be available if you have the MacDon pack. MacDon pack is available as a pre order bonus, or you could buy it individually after the game launches. Under forage harvesters, we have the LH2. This is going to be front three point hitch harvester. You will also need to supply a header. We have a Katana from Kent Fent. We have a John 9000 series from John Deere. The FR 780 from New Holland. The Jaguar 990 TerraFlex or TerraTrack from Kloss. And the Big X 1180 from Prone. Under our headers, we have the Pickup 300 from Kloss. The 3003 from Kemper. We have the 639 Premium from John Deere. The EasyFlow 300S. The Direct Disc 500 Mower. The X Disc 620 mower, the 130 FB, this is going to be for Poplar. We then have the 345 Plus for Kipper, John Deere, we have the 450 SFI from New Holland, we have the 360 Plus from Kipper and John Deere, we have the 600 SFI from New Holland, we have the 375 Plus, guess what, from Kipper and John Deere, and we have the 750 SFI Plus. Guess what? We have a Kemper 390 Plus for John Deere and Kemper. We have the New Holland 900 SFI, the Orbis 900 from Kloss, and the Crone X Collects 903. Head of trailers, we have a Direct Disc 500 trailer for Kloss, the Comfort Support Wheel for Kemper, and the Crone X Disc 620 trailer. Under levelers, we have just one the MES 400. On our silo compacting, we have just one, the Stego 985 Pro. And under consumables, we have silage additive. Under grassland care, we have mowers. We have the GMD 3123F front mower, the Samaz KDF 3140, 30, sorry, the KDF 341S front mower, the Samaz XT9, no, Samaz XT390 side mower, for the Vermeer TM. 1410 trailed mower. We have the Do It 7300. That is going to be a three point hitch connection. We have a GMD 8730FF butterfly mower. The Samaz KTD 941STH butterfly mower. And the Crone Big M 450. Surprised at just the small list of mowers here. Giants really trimmed that back. We have the Ponager Alpine Hit 4.4H. Under tethers, 
the Ventro 820 Highland from Crone, the Semes P8 890, and the Ponager HIT 1618T. For wind rowers, we have the SIP Favorite 254, the SIP Air 300F ALP, the Kuhn GA4731, we have the Retina Respro R7RD, the Samez Z2840H, we have the Crone Squadro TS970, the Anderson Merge Pro 915, and the Poniger Top 1403C. For Forage Dragons, we have the Boss Alpine 251, the Thario 4010D, the Rapid 580V, the Tygo 75VRD, the Jumbo 8450DB, and the Bergman Shuttle 490S. Under Grassland Care, we have the Dalbo Maxi Roll 630 Green Line, and this is going to be for rolling our grass, which is supposed to increase our yield. Then under consumables, we once again have our silage additive. We're a little over halfway at this point. Just like I said before, what new vehicles or implements have we seen so far that have struck you as surprising? Or maybe what's missing that you're rather surprised is not currently in the list for those categories we've already talked about. Under bailing, we have square balers. We have a Massey First and MF1840, so the small square baler has returned. We have SB190ID, SB1290IB. We have a Quad, quad Rant 5300FC from Kloss, the Massey First and 2370 Ultra HD, the Squadra 1290NUD, and the Crone Big Pack 1290HDPVC. A little surprised you don't see New Holland in this list. Hmm. Under round bailers, we have a Gubiel G1 F125. We have a New Holland Pro Belt 165. The Case RB456 HD Pro. The VB3190. Oh, the venerable VB3190. This thing's been around for decades, it feels like. We have the Crone Very Pack V190 XC Plus. The John Deere C441R. It's going to be a baler and wrapper combination. We have a stationary baler in the Gouville Vari Master V140. We have the Anderson Bio Baler WB55. That's going to be for Poplar. And we have the ever so popular Vermeer ZR5 1200 self propelled round baler. Under transport or bale hauling, we have the legal that one. Three-point hitch, front and rear round bale transport. We have the DPW-1800, FarmTech trailer again. The Agriliner PWO-24. We have the Anderson RMB-2000. We have the Arcusen Multipack D14. This thing is a must-use by any player at least once. Get the small flegal baler, get this thing, and make packs of 14 small bales in one pack. And then use this to pick up those packs of 14 and it'll hold 14 packs of 14. That's a ton of bales. I think that's 288 bales. It's awesome. Anyway, we have the RQ's FSX 6372. <clears throat> Under wrappers, we have the Gouville G1015, the G5020, the Anderson Hybrid X Extractor for making bale sausages, and the SW40. 14 and this will wrap both square and round bales. The extractor will also wrap square and round bales. Meanwhile, the Gouvilles are round bale only. Under miscellaneous, we have the Anderson bumper, and that's going to be used specifically for our bio baler. And then we have our consumables. Remember, balers now require consumables. So we have Randy wrap. Not Randy Rap, Randy Rap. I've said that so often. Square bale twine and square or round bale net. And we can come in here with our round bale net and we can pick different brands if we want. Under root crops, we have beet harvesters. We have the Amity 3750 
defoliator, the Anderson or the Amity 2720 Harvester Scrub. This is going to be a massive trailed self-propelled harvester. Yeah, I want to use this. Looks cool. We have the Agrifac Light Tracks, the Homer Terados 540, and the Ropa Tiger S. A Ropa Tiger 6S. Under Beat Harvester headers, we have Homer HR60, Ropa RRXL 945, and the RRXL 945 header trailer. Under Beat Loading, we have the Mouse 5. It's going to be for sugar beets only. Under Potato Planters, we have the GL420, the Freos 440, and the GL860 Compacta. Under Potato Technology for Harvesters, we have the Keeler 2RK22, we have the Evo 290, and the Ventor 4150. Under Consumables, we simply have a crate of potatoes. So this is going to be our potato seed. Under vegetables, we have a GF400 for a vegetable planter. We have a GF800. We have the Mini Air Nova Rigid and the Mini Air Nova Fold. Under vegetable harvesters, we have a DWOOF P3CL Profi, the P3K Profi, the GBC, and the ZKIVSE. And all of these we've seen in the premium expansion for 22. If you didn't get the premium expansion for 22 and you want to use this stuff, go back and check out my, my premium expansion videos on this stuff. It'll still hold up. On our spinach harvesters, we have the Okbo MKB 4TR. This kind of answers the question. Will we have a cheaper spinach harvester? Nope. Green bean harvesters? Nope. No cheaper one here either. We have a BP 2140E. Under pea harvesters, nope. No cheaper here. We have the EPD 540E. And under consumables, we have empty crates. And the way this works is you either buy these crates either in the field or you transport them. And that's how some of these harvesters are basically going to collect your crop. Under specialty crops, we have rice planters. We have the Izeki. PRJ8D, and this is going to work for standard rice. Long grain rice, we're going to use a normal cedar. Under rice harvesters, we have the HJ6130. Again, this is going to work for standard rice. For long grain rice, we're going to use a standard header. Sugarcane planters, we have a single row billet planter or the two row billet planter. Sugarcane harvester, we have the Case IH Ostoff. 8,800 multi-row. Under sugarcane transport, we have the Colossus 10,000 or the Massey Ferguson 3012. Under cotton harvesters, we have the Case IH Module Express 635 or the John Deere CP690. Under cotton transport, this is going to be for the round bales from the John Deere. We have the McCormick Cotton Wheelie Grab and the McCormick Tag Trailer. Or for the modules from Case IH, we have the Module 4 or the Module X Semi. And then we have, once again, under consumables, we have a potato crate. We have a sugar cane crate because that's how we're going to plant sugar cane. And we have rice saplings. And that's how we're going to plant our normal rice with the Izeki. We could also grow these saplings in a greenhouse. Grapes and olives. So for olive harvesters, we have a choice of two. We have the Grigor GL or the Broad 9090X Olive from New Holland. Under grape harvesters, we have a choice of three. In the Eero Grape Liner Series 7000, the Broad 9070L or the Grigor GL. We have special trailers to harvest our grapes because, well, they're just that way. We have the MRWK6000 or the LWS12000. Under grape tools, we have the MP12 Osea. This is going to be a trimmer or a pruner that's used after harvest. The Mercury 4000 sprayer. Then we have the TPN140 mulcher and the Agrosim Discomatic for our subsoiling 
between the rows of grapes. Under animals, we have our forage mixers. We have the RA142. We have the Farsen PF 2.24. We have our trailed Silo King 4.0 system 1000 plus. We have the self propelled SPW Intense 25.2 CL from Kuhn. And we have the Farsen Leader PF 2.26 plus Echo Mode. We have water tankers in the ABI Attachments 550, the ABI Attachment 1600, the MKS-8 from Lizard, and the Lizard MKS-32. You see they're going to haul milk, goat milk, cow milk, water, liquid fertilizer, herbicide for the two lizards. Meanwhile, the ABIs are exclusive to water. Under animal transport, we have the Belvedere for our horses. We have the NOAA TTW-140 for cows, pigs, and sheep and goats. And we have the Silver Star, again, for cows, pigs, sheep, and goats. Straw blowers, we have the Primor 15070M and the Elmer's Ravage. Under food, we can buy pallets of wheat, oat, pig food. We can buy big bag foods of wheat, oat, and pig food. And we can also buy a pallet of mineral feed. For our forestry, we have forestry harvesters. We have the John Deere 843L2. We have the Komatsu 951 and the Hannibal T50. Under forwarders, we have the Flex. We have the John Deere 848L2, the Ponzi Bison Active Frame, and the Rotney F20D. Under cultivators, or sorry, excavators, we have the Volvo. EC250DL and the EC380DL. Under excavator tools, we have the Woodcracker G1650, the THX180, and we have the Woodcracker C550 and the SKB240. Under wood transport, we have the 144ND, we have the P134272. We have the Pitts LT48L. We have the FH16RUL HKR trailer and truck frame. And then we have the RUH327 trailer to go along with the truck. Underwood chippers, we have the HM10500KF and the Gens HEM922DQ Cobra Hybrid. Under mulchers, because we're going to be able to clear our undergrowth in the forest, we have the THX 180 and the TFR 250. Under winches, we have the EGV 65 AHK SG. We have the K300 T SKA 1Z tower yarder. And then we have the H307 CH Ectoflex. Again, this is a tower yarder but it's going to be trailed versus three-point hitch attached. Under tree planters, we have the Damkin PL75 and the Roostek SKB240. This is going to be attaching to our excavator. Under stump cutters, we have the Pinroth SF900, three-point hitch attached stump cutter. Under miscellaneous, we have the PM Track 3. We have the L200H High Lift and the, oh my gosh, look at that reach, the 935G Hybrid. Holy cow. Is that diesel or electric? Huh. And then we have various saplings. We have a pallet of poplar. That's how we're going to plant that. We have tree saplings in small format, and then we have tree saplings in taller format for American Elm, Aspen, Beach. Yeah, that one. That one. Cherry Tree, Chinese Elm, Downy Service Berry, Golden Rain, Japanese something, Log Pine Pole, Northern Capitella, Scottish Pine. Red pine, oak, 
hickory. Uh huh. Apple trees. Interesting. Apple trees. Didn't we see cherry trees earlier? And we're back to our American Elm. We have the same listing here. Yep. Pretty much the same listing here as well. Just as smaller. I believe these are going to be planted with uh, this. Whereas the taller ones are going to be planted in there. On right, miscellaneous, we have our weights. We have a 450 kilogram weight, 600 kilogram, 600 kilogram, 650, 750, 900, 900. We have several thousand kilogram weights. 1100, 1150, 1250, 1500, 1500, 18, 18, 23, 25, 3300, and then we have a 1700 kilogram John Deere weight that is going to be specific for the 7R. On our belts, we have a TC-816. The SL8022 Quantum, the RH2460, we have the Meridian TL1239, and the Conveyall 1690. For the winter, well, you're going to want a snow plow, so we have a Jump 320. You're also going to want a salt spreader, so the SG2000. And then we have a larger plow or larger blower in the tor tor Tornado 252. Under miscellaneous miscellaneous, we have a Trius. I mean, it looks like a trailer. Why is it not in the trailer section? But okay. We have the HMZ 340 3000. This is going to be a three point hitch forklift attachment. We have a Dolly 10 10L. That's going to be a semi trailer Dolly. So you can back a trailer up to this or back this up to a trailer and attach your semi-trailer then and trail it like it's a tractor. And then we have the FST 990 fuel bowser. Under objects, well, we have big bags for solid fertilizer, seed, lime, wheat, oat, pig food, and salt. We have big bag pallets, again, for solid fertilizer, lime, seed, wheat, oat, pig food, pig food and salt. We have tanks for liquid fertilizer and herbicide. We have categories of pallets of things like poplar, potatoes, sugarcane, tree saplings, seed, silage additive, ran wrap, ranny wrap, rice saplings, square bale twine, round bale net, mineral feed, and vegetable pallets. And we can buy bales in square hay, square silage, square straw. Now we're going to have rhyme bells in hay, silage, and straw. Now do note that this specifically says wheat straw. I wonder what that means. Hmm. And then we have new categories of hand tools. So we have chainsaws from Husqvarna, Still, Jones, Snurd, and McCulloch. I, I've never heard this brand. I'm just making it up. Okay. We have spray marker from Still, blue, green, orange, red, pink, white, and yellow. We have hand tools. We have the sprayer. We have HDS 918-4M hand tool. And interesting enough, we have the death mower and the 29 EFI. This is also listed as a hand tool that we're going to park in our tool sheds. And then lastly, we have our horse brush for our horses and folks that that's it that is literally everything in the vehicle shop a quick rundown through all this stuff let me know down in the comments below what do you think of the 158 brands included were there any brands that you wanted to see included any brands that are missing from fs22 that you wish were back what about vehicles what about implements anything new you're excited about seeing Anything old you wish was here that it's not. And, well, as I close out, I'm going to have a little closer look at this white tractor that's on sale for a mere $27,858.
If you like this video, then please go ahead and click that like button. Let me know down in the comments below other ideas you might have for other videos. I've got the next week off, so we'll try to work in as many requests as possible. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up as well because it does help with channel discovery and the video discovery. And until next time, happy farming.